messed up. I am not going to put this lady on this camera, but we're sitting here going to have a conversation. We came outside for this because I'm not the only one that seen what I seen at this bus station today. So what yeah. did you see? I told well, me. Well, I saw yesterday too. I saw that. Uh, I saw that um, they had these little people, Mexican kids came in on the bus. Now you just. This is my voice. I'm okay in her to take my voice. And um, I just saw these people, you know, yesterday uh, with all these little kids coming. Two ladies had a sign. They directed them inside of the uh, inside of the um, corner of the bus station. Yeah, know? as they did today, they put them all in that corner. Yeah, yeah. Like today, they did the same thing. But uh, the thing of it was that yesterday. They didn't have the man didn't give them a bus ticket for the kids because he said they didn't have no they didn't have no bus ticket but they didn't but they didn't uh, want to give them he didn't want to give them no ticket but yet the kids and your kids and the people got on the bus and the days was the same thing. You know? How old were the kids yesterday? Um, little bit of kids, about like two or three, you know, little kids. Hold on, another lady came down and sat down beside her. Yeah. You know, basically the day was about the same way, but they had more adults than kids today. They had more Little adults than teens, kids. Like teenagers. Yeah. So how, how old would you say the, the when I, when I take, you saw me, I got the pictures. Yeah. Um, when I cover their faces so people understand the People that were carrying babies, so how old do you think they were? Twelve. Twelve? Yeah. So they're not adults, the ones that are carrying them little babies. No, they about like twelve. No, you say it too. There's another lady here. Look, it's just your voice I'm recording. I am trying to help with the human trafficking in the United States. And there, if you know, there's 20,000 immigrant children that are missing right now. Yeah, I'm just going to put this over so I can hear your voice. There was one lady, she looked to be maybe between 10 and 12. Yeah. And there was a, a, a little small child, probably two or three years old. With them. Yeah. Yeah. They were, yeah, the little girl said, you know, unless she was a mother. Yeah. On there, but they were so young. They are trafficking the children through the bus stations. Yeah. I really believe this. And yeah. there is two other women that are older than me. That are sitting here. They don't want to be on camera. They let their voice be on here, but they're seeing the same thing. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to see the bigger picture of the racial discrimination because we and white people know what's going on, and they're trying to kick us out of the bus station and discourage us while they're keeping us distracted. You know, what's going on right underneath our noses? I asked them about that, and she and she said that I, she said, well, you know, it's perfectly legal. Um, we have people from the United States that sponsor these kids trips down here, you know, and she said uh, it's perfectly le legal. So then I said, well, you know what? Yeah, it's perfectly legal to kidnap them yeah. and collect money. Yeah, yeah, because it's not. It's not. It's too many kids for adults, and them yeah. little them little five adults don't have all them kids. No. And you know they don't. And today, when the first load that got off, it was a bunch of young teenage boys. Yeah, it was mostly mostly boys, and I think it was about maybe like, well, we saw that one little lady who looked at like she. New Orleans. Old, you, know, you know. New Orleans bus station. They have, they have a the ladies that are passing out the free stuff from our earlier stuff video. They are actually have to be employees of this building or people that own yeah, this building. They, out from the, they push the little coal and come out from where the where the uh, ticket collectors be at. They go back where the ticket people are. You have to have the code to get in the door. And these people yeah, don't do. ask. They go push the code in and they go behind the counter yeah. into a room and then they come yeah. out. So they are part With of blankets and blankets. But in that thing, they had like little deodorant and stuff like that. But they had uh, 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 oranges and apples, you know, fruits in the little bag. Now, another thing I want to touch on. I showed, I didn't show you the video to prove that the guy that I have, I haven't exposed him yet. There's a guy in Mexico 
that has his own clothing line and I can prove that he is a pedophile. I showed the lady, because we were talking about one of these little girls that came in today. She has the clothing line on. And she saw it for herself once I showed her the picture of the store where they sell these clothing lines. It's just like mini vids, they have their own jewelry. Yeah, they have these different little girls with these tight little pants is on. That little 12 year old, that was too, you know, I never seen this stuff like that. Not, not that tight. No. That was, that was too tight. You're a taxi driver. Hey, I watched a man out here last night. Uh, they unloaded the train, and that man, this man had a good hustle. He was driving people and telling the cab to come up and putting their stuff in the, in the cab for them. But you see it for yourself. Did you see it for yourself? How old are y'all? I'm just curious. I'm 66. You're 60. You're 75? Holy crap, I would not have thought you were 75. Oh my God, this lady looks pretty good for 75. I hope I look that good when I'm 75. She looks younger than me. So yesterday, what happened to the kids that they wouldn't give a ticket to? They just went and got on the bus? Yeah. They got this. I think he, well, he, the guy didn't want to give them tickets because they didn't have the right documentation. That's what he said. And, and, you know, they was getting busy where he had to wait on people who did have tickets. So, you know, he said, well, you know what? I'm not giving them no tickets. But they got on the bus anyway. And their children did. They went on and got on the bus. I do know the first bus load that just left um, is heading to Florida and Mississippi. So um, the second load, I don't know where they went. Actually, the little girl that was wearing the clothing line from that store, and I recognized the clothing line. I was in the bathroom. I wanted to see if the little girl would show eye contact or emotion. And when kids are being trafficked, they don't like to show the eye contact. They're constantly looking down, and, you know, they're not allowed to speak to you. And I got that confirmation. I will be blacking out the face. I will be showing the clothing line here shortly. Um, I will be exposing this on a bigger scale. Um, but what I've seen today, I feel like my jaw is still hanging on the ground because... That's too many kids with kids. Um, another thing they did when they were lined up to get on the bus, and this comes in training, every single adult that was there, which wasn't that many, they all had to nudge the child to move, and they all did it in the exact same way. Now, if these people are from different countries and from different nationalities, they all wouldn't be doing the exact same thing. It's called training. And I really think that New Orleans bus station needs to be investigated for human trafficking of children. And there is two other ladies that are older than I am that just spoke and saw the same thing that I saw. I asked the lady to come out here to prove. So that way, y'all don't think I'm crazy. And maybe we can actually do something. 20,000 immigrant children are missing. Who are their owners? Of course, it's not illegal because they're owned by somebody. I also have some faces of who are not of their nationality, but also follow this crowd of children. I don't know what I just really saw today, but it is very, very, very disturbing. My heart is just, there's too many children, and the children were with children, and then what in their parents? I don't give a shit what these people say. I really don't give a flying fliggly what they say, because there's no way kids have kids like that.
do what? I'm thinking about his, his life in the 1661. Why? Because he's taking our friend to the store. He's taking your friend where? To the casino. Oh. The cab drivers around here, they're pretty, they're pretty okay. You have her number? Yeah, her phone. She got our phone number. Okay. So what do you think about this human trafficking? Well, that's, you know, that's, that's, that's terrible for our... She's worried about her friend. <laughs> she... Whew. But that makes more sense. Because the white people are the ones sitting here talking about the human trafficking of the immigrants. And since we are, that would make more sense of why being racially discriminated, yeah. like I have been at these bus stations and stuff, is to keep you occupied, to keep you discouraged, to not travel, to keep you blind to what they are doing. That makes a lot more sense because nothing else does. And what I just saw today is really, really crazy. And I have multiple pictures. I have stuff to prove what I'm saying. And I, I just, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put the pictures of the children's faces on here. But I will put the pictures on here so you can see. But you heard this lady say, these kids that are carrying babies are not adults. They are not adults. And that is. All I can say is, wow, and I, I wish I was here to see them put the other kids on the bus yesterday, the younger kids. No, baby, I don't. I wish I did. I don't. I'm broker to broke, too. I've been traveling. I've been stuck in bus stations for four days. I got to get back to my All right, well, we're going to go back inside, but please share this video. Here. I don't like uh, traveling of any size, kids, you know, we have too many missing here in the United States, you know, um, and and uh, my head off to you because you didn't tell me anything, I, I was just curious and nosy and I talked to the lady today and that's what she told me, she told me that they were being sponsored by organizations here in the United States. It's perfectly legal. And I say, well, you know, I was just, you know, and I asked her. I said, well, you know what? I belong to a social club. Uh, you give me. My hair's just flying you know, everywhere. <laughs> I said, you give me uh, a card. You know. She I didn't have a card to give you. She didn't give me one. She was supposed to. That's why I'm going back. All right. Well, if I get the card, I'll make sure I get a picture and stick it on here, so we can start looking into these groups because um, that was too many children today. Please share this video. I mean, we have people that are older than me that are actually seeing this. Uh -huh. sure. Are you selling a couch? Huh? Are you oh, for no, real? I don't, 